It's a, this is all I tell you is it was a unique device. And the, again, the embarrassing thing. I talked my mom into buying me the Sega CD, and then of course the 32X, which is in this one. And I never actually ever played a game with a 32X. Because <laughs> they were so few and far between. What's going on guys? I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet. Yesterday I messaged somebody on Facebook Marketplace who is selling a broken Sega Genesis console. I asked him if he had any of their stuff lying around and he said that he has two entire totes filled with Sega stuff that he has not yet put up on Facebook Marketplace. And inside of one of those totes is this guy right here. For everybody who doesn't know, this is a Sega Tower of Power and it was all the rage back in 1994. If you had one of these, you were definitely the cool kid. If you went over to your friend's house for a sleepover and he had one of these on a shelf, you guys were not sleeping that night. Basically what it is, is three consoles in one. Sega thought that would be a genius idea to do. And it is a Sega Genesis mixed with a Sega CD mixed with a Sega 32X. It is the most wonkiest thing that I have ever seen in my entire life. It is so futuristic yet so simplistic and it was just something so crazy that Sega conjured up. Anyway, the guy has one of these and we are looking to go buy it. I have never seen one of these in person so it's gonna be the first time for me. I am super excited because he said he has a ton of other Sega stuff with this console. So we are gonna go over there right now and hopefully we are gonna come back as a new owner of a Sega Tower of Power. This should be interesting. Oh man, the rain started. It is pouring down. All right guys, so I just pulled up to his house. We're about to take a look at everything he's got and do the transaction. If you guys hear any planes or anything like that over his house, that's because he lives right next to O'Hare Airport, like literally down the street from O'Hare Airport. So you might hear some airplanes flying over. Hopefully it's not too bad on camera, but yeah, let's go take a look at what he's got and hopefully let's buy everything. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. I figured I had I couldn't find my tape or it's buried. So if you want to, oh, this is fun. If you want to look through this, I mean, again, if you want these plastic totes, you can just leave them in there. I'm not sure how much you want to look at it. I'll get the other tote with the stuff while you look at that. Okay. The this old, was all yours as a kid, or yeah, pretty much a little of it. I had a. Be a little careful with those because sometimes the, the they'll come separated. And I think it's the cliffhanger one that's kind of okay. a little loose. But yeah, most of it was mine originally. You'll see some of it came from rental stores or yeah. my mom had a boyfriend who liked to pick stuff up from the pawn shop. But most of it, the systems, one of the Segas is one, or actually that broken Sega, the original one, and then another one of the Genesis's was that. But the 32X, the Genesis, and the Sega CD, I'm the original owner. Super cool, yeah. I'm a. I grew up as a Nintendo kid, so I never yeah. really had Sega much. But I know the Sega CD is super cool. It's a, this is all I tell you is it was a unique device. And the, again, the embarrassing thing, I talked my mom into buying me the Sega CD, and then of course the 32X, which is in this one. And I never actually ever played a game with a 32X because <laughs> they were so few and far between. How much was it back then? The Sega CD was $200, and the 32X, I want to say, was another $150. Yeah. It's in good condition. Yeah, again, it's, it was just me that's owned it, and since then it's kind of traveled around in totes, but always been well taken care of. And you said you tested everything but the 32X? because Everything you don't have the game. but the 32X, yeah, because, again, I don't even think I ever rented a game. All the cables that you should need to hook it up are included because there's some different AV cables that yeah. will run between the different systems. 
the Sega and the Sega CD work very simply because they are there's a you know there's a little part they come together here. Yeah. So there's really not any cables that connect those two, but then this is that broken system. Did you ever I try to diagnose why it's broke or I didn't go much more than cleaning out the pens. Okay. Pretty thoroughly with some alcohol swabs, trying to get it but Again, it powers on, but could never get anything out of it. If anything else, you could always repurpose the case because a lot of people like the collectible part of that. Was there another system in here too? Yeah, that's that extra down here at the bottom. Is that, that one, just another Genesis? Or? Yeah, yeah, same one as this one. It works as well. And then these are broken games that I had in another ad. They're just in a bag extra cartridges. I don't know if you want to take a look at those. These just didn't work on the system you tried it or? Yeah, I tried again, cleaning the pins. I mean, some of these games are, even the one, I don't want to put this as, sometimes you got to kind of play with the way it's seated a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to tell you these games were, but there is sometimes you put them in and if you didn't quite seat them right, it may not boot up all the way. You might have to take it out and seat it again. Yeah, they're finicky, but Usually they're not broke unless you had them in a basement and they got weathered and then you just have to kind of scrape the pins off. But other yeah. than that, they usually... It sounds like you know how to recondition. Yeah, I, I do. Uh, I fix consoles a lot, so I do have a little bit of knowledge in that. Yeah, and in the box, I don't know if you want. You had some questions about that. Like to me, I would never tell someone that's in good condition. But then again, there's just not a lot of these boxes the same. It still exists. I would say this is... This is pretty decent condition. I know yeah. you were saying there was some damage, but. Yeah, unfortunately I threw out there. You, I had the, the inside part that held the console for the longest time. But the I cardboard? Got, yeah, but I think at some point I slipped another console box inside of it, so I threw it out probably like yeah. years ago. These never would last. You would, you like on Christmas, you'd take your console out and you just throw this in the garbage or you put it in an attic and it would get wet or something like that. I always like to save my boxes. But yeah, it, again, during the different moves, this this made so many moves over the years, so yeah. You're asking 300 for everything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll take it, it's really cool. You count that? Okay. Yeah, I'm about an hour away from you. Because I thought you were 45 minutes and then it ended up being an hour and I was like, oh, whatever. Yeah, traffic, once it started raining, it's like the <laughs> first time people have ever seen rain. I was like, <laughs> once you said that and I saw the storm rolling and I was like, it's gonna be a while longer with the rain. You figure everybody lives in Chicago, they know how to drive, nah, but no. I mean, it doesn't, there's no good time to drive anymore either is the other thing, so yeah. Did you want these totes back or? I mean, if you want, if it's easier for you to take them, it's a three hundred dollar transaction. These are like two or three dollar totes, so if you want them, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd probably take them. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. I appreciate them. Can we help you load things up? Sure, so you don't have to sure. Make so many trips. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'll just stack this. Did you just not want to sell it like on eBay or anything like you didn't want to mess with it or? I've got a good eBay account, but it's just like the mailing and then the scams that run on there. If anything, it's broken. And, and then if for whatever reason, the way I describe it, again, this box, right? Yeah. You think it's in good condition. I think it's in a different condition. There could be someone else with this idea in their head that they're getting that mint box. It's just for me. And, and then they're like, oh, I want to send it back. And you're yeah, like, oh my gosh. Again, I'd much rather for you to come check it out that i'm probably not running some kind of weird scam or something yeah local is always a good way because you get cash too so it's cash and then the tax thing on ebay of course is a double whammy for me so yeah. it's just a nice easy transaction so i hope it all works out for you if you have any questions but like i say i've got a setup downstairs i tested everything out so you should be pretty good yeah. but if we run into anything major let me know i'm just i'm gonna buy a 32x game and then just yeah. see if it works it, it looks like it's in really good condition so yeah, i assume I'd, it works i'd be shocked if it did yeah but again i never <laughs> Looks like you took care of it. So. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate so, it. Oh, no problem. Thanks Thank for you so making much. the drive. Yep. Have a good day. Okay, so he actually had a lot more stuff than I thought he did because on the ad, he had the Sega CD, the 32X, the bundle, there was the box, and there was like maybe five or 10 games with it. And what he brought out was a lot more than that. So, I'm actually super excited to look through this. I didn't really look through it too much when I was with him just because the price of the console with the box is 
the amount that I'm already paying, $300. So anything extra is just gonna be an added bonus. And I didn't really browse too much through everything. So when we get home, I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got. Bro, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Hey, it went down. We got some knuckle puck and a Red Bull. So I think everything's gonna be all right. I'll let you guys know when I get home. One hour later. Right now, I'm currently outside of my local game store, which is Disc Replay. And this Disc Replay by me is very, very good. They have a lot of good stuff. They have a plethora of stock all of the time, and they have really high-end items as well. And I am here because I am going to see if I can find a Sega 32X game because they are super uncommon and I need to test the system to see if it works. Wish me luck. I hope I can find just a cheap game like a sports game or something like that just to test out the system. I am not trying to pay an arm and a leg for a game. So here we go. All right, I'm back and $18 later, we have Virtual Racing Deluxe. And this is my very first 32X game that I've ever purchased my entire life. So this is a special moment. This will do just fine for testing. So let's get home, let's sort everything out and let's see if our system actually works. So as you heard the guy say, this is his entire Sega childhood collection. He said that he begged his mom for days and days to get the Sega CD once it came out. And then once he finally obtained it, he really didn't play it. I think he said he didn't like it or something like that. But from the condition it's in, you can tell it did not get a whole lot of love. He also said he didn't want to deal with all of the stress selling something on eBay, shipping it and having buyers return it for whatever reason if the condition's not what they thought it was. He said he really did not want to deal with that stuff and I don't blame him. But that's why he was selling it for a fair price. He said he didn't want to get the exact value for it. He knows how much they go for, but since he's selling it locally, he's not asking retail prices. So he's only asking $300 for everything. As you can see, we have six controllers. We have three systems, a Sega CD, a 32X. We even have the Sega CD box and it's in pretty dang good condition considering how old it is. That is super cool. We also have an entire stack of games that I haven't even checked out yet. So as you can see, I have Virtua Racing in here and we're gonna test it to see if it works. I have not tested anything yet to see if it works. So this is gonna be the first time, but I wanna go ahead and show you guys the games. He was saying that this stack right here is broken games and he couldn't get them to work. So we're gonna see if they're actually broken, if we can get them to work, or if I have to take them apart and clean, clean them up. I've done it before. So yeah, let's take a look at all of the games that were included in this $300 lot. So I'm just gonna go through all of the games and only show you guys the ones that I think are worth some money. And I'm gonna skip all of the sports games and all the titles that I don't think are worth mentioning. But we got Sonic Spinball right here, hockey game, golf game, hockey game, Andretti Racing, World Series Baseball, Arcade's Greatest Hits, we got Maximum Carnage, I think this is like a $15 or $20 game, we got NHL 94 for the Sega CD, I think the Sega CD sports games should still go for a decent amount just because it's a Sega CD game and they didn't make a whole lot of them. We got Attack Chopper. It looks like he was doing some research on these as well because he's got one, 13, 2018, $5. We got Bob. Street Fighter 2. I think this one's missing the manual. We got a Batman's Returns manual. College football. We got Battletech. We got Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This is just the case. We got Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This is just the case. We got Blaster Master 2. Yowza. This is complete in box with the manual. We got International Soccer. NHL 94, this is just the case. We got Mega Bomberman. That's a really cool game. I remember playing this. Eternal Champions for the Sega CD. 
This is just the case and game, no manual. We got Cliffhanger, Sega CD. This is the game and manual, but the case is kind of broken. NHL 94. Zoop. Miss Pac-Man. We got Genesis six pack. This is just a manual. Here's the game. NHL 94 again. NHL 98. Madden 96. NBA Live 97. This one's complete in box. Wonder Dog for the Sega CD. And last but not least, we have Sewer Shark for the Sega CD as well. Here's all the broken games that we got, or for what he said was broken. We got Izzy's, NBA Jam, Golf, NHL 95, Big Hockey Fan, PGA Tour 96, Pele, and hardball. All right, the first thing I wanna test out is this 32X because the seller said that he did not test it, so he doesn't know if it works because he didn't have a 32X game. I didn't know how rare 32X games are, but yeah, we got Virtua Racing that I got at Disc Replay. Let's go ahead and see if it's gonna work for us. Yeah, it looks like it started right up. Cool. I got a controller plugged into the player one port so I could really test if these games work. Yeah. It looks like it's working perfectly fine. Super cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, let's go ahead and throw Mega Bomberman in. Super cool. Man, I love Mega Bomberman. It looks like it works perfectly fine. Awesome. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. All right, last but not least, we got the Sega CD that violently opens. We're throwing in Eternal Champions. So let's go ahead and see if the Sega CD is gonna work for us. Looks like this is working too. There you go. Everything works. Awesome. Obviously I'm gonna test it more thoroughly off camera to make sure when I'm playing games it still works just as good as it does starting them up. But yeah, I am super happy. This Sega CD, this entire setup works. All right, next up we have the Model 2 Genesis that also came with a lot. We're gonna throw in Mega Bomberman. I think these are like 50 bucks, if it does work. And it looks like it's working perfectly fine. Here's the other Sega Genesis that came in the lot. This is what started it all. I messaged him about this broken one, asking if he had anything else lying around. And this is what we got. So make sure you are asking people on Facebook Marketplace if they have more stuff. But yeah, I'm not saying it is a user error, but I know these RF connections are very finicky to set up. And maybe when he was trying it, he wasn't being successful at it. I'm not sure. Maybe it actually doesn't work, but I don't have the means to set it up and test it. So I'm just going to sell this one as untested for parts. So after calculating everything up, we have close to about $750 of retail value on this table. So if we were to sell everything on eBay, it'd be about $180 of fees and shipping, minus our $300 that we initially spent for everything, which leaves us at about $270 to $300 of estimated profit. But I'm highly considering just selling this entire lot of stuff for around five to 600 bucks locally and see if we have any buyers that way. Regardless what route we go, it looks like we're gonna make about $300 in profit if we sell it on eBay or if we sell it locally. So we will see once it comes down to it, but I really appreciate you guys watching today's video and I will see you in the next one.